Hey, Matt from New Scooter Nerds here. Today, we're looking at the most important list of electric scooters ever. These are the best electric scooters under $1,000. This will be the budget of most people, so that's why we consider this to be the list of most important scooters. Let's check these scooters out, saving the best one for last. We start with the Apollo Air 2022 which is one of the most reliable, most popular electric scooters under $1,000 right now. Besides having thousands of satisfied riders throughout the world, this scooter has been battle tested by many experienced riders and has gotten their stamp of approval as well. The most popular kit on the block fully deserves all the accolades thrown at it. Usually priced at $999, it is almost a budget scooter and the value you get for that price is simply incredible. The initial top speed is around 21 miles per hour, but can be regularly exceeded under more ideal conditions. The range of 31 miles on a single charge is simply a bullseye, like it was purposefully designed to satisfy the general public, as most people never even ride over those speeds. Peak motor power of 600 watts, a 36 volt battery, a water protection rating of IP54, front drum and regenerative brake, front dual fork suspension, all of that packaged into 37 pounds of matte black loveliness. This scooter has it all. See the link in the description for one of the most complete, best balanced electric scooters under $1000 and don't forget to use my coupon code for free gifts from Apollo. Next we have the Marcane Wide Wheel Dual which is the best solid tire scooter under $1,000. The iconic 4-inch wide solid foam-filled wheels make the scooter completely immune to punctures and flats, but also the wide wheels result in better balance and safety. And let's not forget, they give them a ton of cool points. Just look at the scooter, it's like no other on this list. You will most likely get a lot of eyeballs on you while riding it. The Mercane Wide Wheel Dual has solid performance, a top speed of 25 miles per hour, a range of 20 miles, and two powerful motors with a combined power of 1000 watts and peak power of 1600 watts. As usual with scooters with two motors, they will have more torque and be great at climbing, so the Mercane Wide Wheel Dual has a climbing angle of 20 degrees. Plus, the scooter has great suspension on both wheels to make the rides extra comfortable, a rear disc brake and an IP54 water protection rating. The scooter is typically priced around $800. I recommend this scooter if you're looking for a high quality option for under $1000 and you live in a place that has poor roads or where flat tires are common in scooters or bikes. There's only one reputable store that sells the original Mercane Wide Wheel Duo, check the link in the description. The next best scooter under $1000 is the Emove Touring, which is also the best electric scooter in this price category for heavy adults, thanks to its 310 pound weight limit. The Emove Touring will have a top speed of 25 miles per hour, a range of 31 miles and a 750 watt peak power motor. It comes with pneumatic front and solid rear tires with 8 inches in diameter, rear electronic and drum brakes, a triple suspension system, dual springs on both the front and the rear wheel as well as suspension on the stem. And probably the most important thing, the scooter is of pretty great quality overall. For a price of just $899, it is superb value. Adults that weigh close to 200 pounds or above that will definitely want to check this scooter out. The original scooter is only available in one store online. Check the link in the description to get it from there, but also don't forget to apply my special coupon code eScooterNerds at checkout for a very nice discount. We have the Highboy Titan next, which is the best off-road option under $1000. What makes it the best off-road option? Well, the self-healing off-road tires with a 10-inch diameter, the dual front and rear shock absorbers, the IP54 ingress protection standard and the 800 watt motor all play major roles for riding on rough terrain. The Highboy Titan can go as fast as 25 miles per hour and has a climbing angle of 14 degrees and a range of 28 miles. I doubt that you will be able to find a better off-road model for less than $1000. Usually the scooter costs $800 but following the link in my description, as well as using my special discount coupon code eScooter Antispace Nerd, you will get an even better price than that. Next, we have the Nagi Model 1, 
which is the lightest and most portable electric scooter under $1,000. It weighs just 26 pounds and folds down to a really small and neat package, making it excellent for transporting and carrying around. Now, of course, there are a few scooters under $1,000 that are lighter in weight than the Unagi Model 1, but they typically have one or more issues that don't really make them good commuter choices, such as very short range, poor quality or something else. The Unagi Model 1 doesn't suffer from any one of those issues. It may just be the highest quality scooter under $1,000 and it performs pretty well too. 20 miles per hour top speed, 15.5 miles of range, 500 watt motor and even a 15 degree climb angle is more than what most scooters in this price category can offer. Additionally, the Munagi Model 1 comes with dual electronic and rear foot brakes, 7.5 inch solid honeycomb tires and an IP54 ingress protection standard. The scooter is usually priced around $1000. I recommend it as an excellent lightweight and portable commuter, but also as a generally high quality option as well. The link in the description takes you to the best and usually only place where you can find this excellent scooter. Before we continue, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more great scooter videos in the future. Next we have the Speedway Mini 4 Pro, which is the fastest electric scooter under $1000. The Speedway Mini 4 Pro has a top speed of 28 miles per hour, which is the highest top speed from any $1000 scooter. Besides that, it has a great range of 30 miles on a single charge, powered by a 1360 watt dual motor and a 48 volt battery. And the most interesting part, this is actually quite a portable scooter for that kind of performance. With the very manageable folded dimensions and a weight of just 36 pounds, it's not really as heavy as you would expect a, a scooter this powerful to be. They often weigh closer to 90 pounds. The scooter comes with regenerative brakes, dual suspension and pneumatic front and solid rear tires with 8 inches in diameter. The Speedway Mini 4 Pro usually costs $1,150, but it's very often discounted down to $1,000. This level of performance in an electric scooter usually costs at least double. Only one online store sells this scooter, the link to get it from there is in the description. The next $1,000 scooter is the Evercross, which is the best seated option in this price category. The 48 volt battery will take you 31 miles on a single charge, with speeds of up to 30 miles per hour. Evercross has disc brakes in the front and rear, dual suspension on both wheels, as well as additional shock absorbers on the seat making it one of the most comfortable scooters in this price category. Additionally, it comes with a strong IPX5 water protection standard, 10-inch pneumatic tires while weighing just 44 pounds. I would recommend this scooter as the best seated option, but it's so much more than that, as it's a great value scooter in general. It costs around $650, which means you will be left with some spare change from your intended $1000 budget. You can only find the scooter in one online store, at least one reputable one. The link to it is in the description. Next we have the scooter with the longest range in the $1000 price category, and that's the Tourant V8. I think I'm a little in love with the Tourant brand. Not only do they build great value scooters, but they always seem to focus on building scooters that are strong in my favorite feature, range. The Tourant V8, which is one of their marathoners, has a range of 50 miles on a single charge. That is the highest in the $1000 category and it's certainly brilliant for an $800 scooter. To make things even better, the scooter has two batteries, one of which is removable, which means you can even buy a spare one and increase the range even further by carrying an extra charged battery on your rides. The top speed of the scooter is 20 miles per hour and has a climb angle of 15 degrees. It comes with 9 inch pneumatic inner tube tires, disc and electronic brakes and an IP54 ingress protection rating. Pretty good for an $800 scooter. I recommend it as the best option under $1000 for people who need a lot of range from their scooter. Or people who simply like the removable battery feature and find it convenient for whatever reason. You can only get this scooter from one store. Check the link in the description that will take you there and don't forget to apply my special coupon code eScooter Empty Space Nerds at checkout for an even additional discount. The next best scooter under $1000 is the Enhill UM2. This scooter doesn't really specialize in one area like the rest of the scooters on this list, but it is a great jack of all trades scooter that will be a perfect catch all wildcard option if you don't like any of the other picks. The Enhill UM2 is, in a way, a miracle scooter. It is of pretty solid quality, has a thoughtful design, great manufacturing and finishing and with one of the best features you can possibly find on a scooter, a removable battery. 
the middle grand solution from the Inhill brand, this scooter comes with all standard features and solid performances, while keeping the almost impossible balance between quality and price. This super cool $900 scooter boosts a top speed of 20 miles per hour, a range of 28 miles, powered by a direct 450 watt brushless motor. Its build also allows for climbs of up to 20 degrees, more than enough for any incline met in a city. What makes the Anyhill UM2 truly amazing is its battery. The 36 volt LG lithium ion battery is stored inside the deck and can be detached in a second only using your hands and no tools. You can charge it wherever you like and it only takes 4 to 5 hours to fully recharge. The scooter comes with 10 inch pneumatic tires, mechanical drum and electronic regenerative brakes and it even supports an app. For $900, it's all that you could ever wish for. Again, I recommend it as the best option for anyone that, for one reason or another, doesn't find any of the other $1,000 scooters appealing, including the next one which I consider to be the best one. The link to buy the Anyhill UM2 from the best place possible is in the description. And now, it's time. The most popular kid on the block, the coolest kid in school the best electric scooter under $1,000 overall. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Ninebot Max. All things considered, the Ninebot Max will be the best and most obvious choice for most people looking for an electric scooter under $1,000. This is one of the best accepted electric scooters ever, with some of the best user feedback and ratings in the electric scooter industry ever. No wonder the Ninebot Max is slowly becoming the commuter's new best friend and the go-to choice of the everyday scooterist. Learning from its ancestors in the glorious Ninebot ES series and from the best-selling Xiaomi models, seems like the brand has listened to the feedback of its riders and answered with style. The scooter keeps the general evergreen look that won the hearts and minds of scooterists worldwide, but it improves upon the Xiaomi and Ninebot scooters in many important ways, most notably bigger and safer tires, more comfortable and more ergonomic design, and much better performance than what we would expect from a scooter in this price range. The Ninebot Max provides an incredible range of 40 miles on a single charge, Packed in a well-crafted, high-quality, carefully tested scooter, the top speed is 18.6 miles per hour. On top of that, it comes with excellent IPX5 protection against water damage, 10-inch pneumatic self-healing tires, dual brakes with mechanical drum brakes on the front wheel and electronic regenerative brakes on the rear. Not to mention the tons of customizations and accessories available because of the scooter's popularity. There's only one true way to create a commuter scooter patiently iterate through tons of versions throughout the years and listen to what the customers are saying. The fruit of that process is the Nambot Max. This is one of my favorite scooters of all time and I recommend it as the best electric scooter under $1000. You will typically find the scooter priced around or even below $800. The link to buy it from the best place possible is in the description. Alright, those were the best $1000 electric scooters in the world. If you liked the video, please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more scooter stuff. If you would like to take it up a notch, I recommend checking out the video on the most expensive electric scooters in the world next. I'll see you there.